गुड इवनिंग एवरीबडी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी शेक्सपियर सनेट द सनेट ऑफ शेक्सपियर वर फर्स्ट पब्लिस्ड इन 1609 जीरो नाइन द डेट ऑफ दियर कंपोजिशन इज स्टिल इन सेल्स मीन्स इट इज नॉट क्लियर वेन दे वर कंपोज बट दे वर पब्लिश इन सिक्सटीन जीरो नाइन देर इज एन एजम्सन ऑफ दियर composition between 1595 to 99 means it is assumed that they were composed between the year 1595 to 1599 francis myers in his palladistamia 1598 mentions that shakespeare wrote sonnets the sonnets of shakespeare are 154 in all sonnets One to one hundred twenty-six are addressed to a man, and the sonnet one hundred and twenty-six is not a sonnet, but it is a twelve-line poem. The remaining number of sonnets, up to one hundred and fifty-four, are addressed to a dark lady. The so-called dark lady of the sonnets. In the sonnets, it is made clear that the lady was dark in complexion and had dark hair. The dedication of the sonnet is still a matter of speculation. Means to say that whom did Shakespeare dedicated his sonnets? It is a matter of controversy, matter of speculation. Mr. T. T. that stands for thomas thorp was the stationer and the publisher of the sonnets that shakespeare wrote mr w h or william hughes was the man who procured the manuscripts of the sonnets for thorp for publication w h may be the inverted initials of henry wriothesley the third Earl of Southampton, to whom Shakespeare dedicated his Venus and Adonis and poem Lucrece, means Venus and Adonis and the poem Lucrece were dedicated to Henry Wriothesley, the third Earl of Southampton. The initial W H may also stand for William Herbert, Earl of Pembroke. The lady, the dark lady, is thought to have been. Mary Fitton Mary Fitton was a maid of honor at the court of William Herbert so friends that is all about William Shakespeare's sonnets so keep reading and we will meet in the next lecture till then thank you